this quick little video is for Pam Fisher to show her how to assign a broken line attribute to a shape that she is using. Uh, she asked how you could do that to make it look like stitches. Uh, you could use the heart or anything else that's over here in the library of shapes and you could then just go here to the color palette and we'll turn off the fill and leave the outline on and we could scroll down here where it says line style and choose one of the broken outlines so now you can see that it is an outline shape uh, broken as in perforations or even stitches you can then go to uh, the wrench and by default the line type is going to be cut and you might want to change it to draw so that when you preview it you would actually see that this would be used in your pen rather than the blade to make a drawn shape. Now that's using one of the built-in shapes. If you want to create a shape, you can use the drawing tools over here. I like to use the pen and create whatever shape I'm interested in creating. Hit enter and it's done and then I can select then I can select the weird little shape that I just created or whatever shape you create just what you want and do the same thing. Make sure that you go to uh, the color palette and that you assign the line style to be one of these broken ones here and that you go to the wrench and make sure that if you want it cut you have the line type as cut or if you want it to draw you have selected the draw. When you preview it, we're going to turn off the show cut lines. And there, so nothing is going to be cut, it's only going to be drawn. If we turn off the draw lines and turn on the cut, you can see that there's nothing there. So if you want it to draw, make sure over under the wrench you have chosen draw as the line type. Or if you want it to cut, make sure that you have chosen cut. When you're at the scanning cut and on the last page where you're telling it to cut, you either use the cut or the draw option. This was just quick and I'm freezing to death, so my voice is kind of shaky. So I'm just going to do this real quick for uh, to try to help so that you understand what my little narrative above is all about. Hope this helps. Have a nice day.